Hey, Astra Kids, and welcome back. And in today's video, we'll be talking about Venus conjunct Mars. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So firstly, how do we interpret Mars and Venus in the chart? Well, definitely you want to see this in the D1 Rashi chart. Look at this from your ascendant sign. You also want to check to see the position of Mars and Venus in the D9 Navamsa chart to check the strength of this conjunction. And the D60 will have the final say. It's also important to check the sign position of this conjunction. So if you have this in a fire sign, then this is going to make this extremely intense and passionate. This is going to give excess desires and passions in life, which you may need to control if you have this placement. It also though can give you a very magnetic and charismatic personality. If you have this in an earth sign, then this can make you skilled with finances, dealing with the practical concerns of life. Definitely, though, you want to use this in an ethical way when approaching finances. If you have this in an air sign, then this means that definitely you can get along with others very well. You have a very charming personality. You could be very skilled in the world of business and communication. This could also be a good placement for gaining in finances. And definitely it gives you great artistic and creative talent. If you have this in the water sign, then this is going to intensify the emotions and passion in this conjunction. And sometimes there's a need to find a way to express your feelings in a healthy outlet, because this can definitely show some suppression of your feelings, which can come out in intense, extreme ways. So there's a need to find a proper channel for this. Sometimes this is a good placement to seek out spiritual practice, therapy, guidance in life if you have this position. This is definitely needed. You also want to see which house is this conjunction placed in. If you have this in the first house, then this means that you have a very charming and charismatic personality. You can draw other people towards you with this. This also, though, can make you a very creative and talented person. And definitely you're determined, you're passionate if you have this in the first house. Nothing stops you. You're always starting something new in life with this position. If you have this in the fourth house, this can create obstacles in the early family experience in the home. But also this can make you skilled at dealing with real estate and property with this placement as well. This can also make you a little bit secretive and contained with your emotions sometimes as well. If you have this in the seventh house, and this means that there can be some difficulties in relationships sometimes, and definitely it gives intense passions and desires within relationships. You can form extremely deep connections with this placement. If you have this in the 10th house, this can create some obstacles in your career, especially when dealing with the boss with this placement. But also this can make you very creative and talented in your career as well. You'll definitely go through all sorts of ups and downs in this area. And you want to be careful about getting involved with anything sexual or romantic in the career environment as well. So what happens then if you have this conjunction of Venus and Mars in the chart? Well, this is going to make you a very passionate person. Both Venus and Mars are extremely passionate planets. So there's a lot of energy here with this position. And especially at an earlier age, there may be difficulty with controlling your passions and desires. And especially because Venus is about love and relationships, you want to be very careful about sexuality with this placement. There can be difficulty with controlling this. As you get older with this placement, though, it tends to die down as you get older. So this is something that can be seen. This also can show that you are someone who enjoys sporting activities, getting involved in different physical activities sometimes with this position. This is especially true if Mars is the planet that is holding the lowest degree. This makes you a very determined and passionate person. You are focused in everything you do. And you're very successful when you devote yourself, when you're committed and fully into your activities. This gives you great success in life. This can make you very daring in terms of love as well. You can just go for the person you want with this placement. You can be very bold when it comes to this. This definitely makes you very intense about relationships. You want who you want and you are willing to go for this. 
this can create some positive experiences in romance where there can be a lot of passion, but at the same time, this can create some obstacles in relationships because Mars is a malefic planet. So there may be some physical or emotional abuse within relationships where you really want to take your time to make sure you get to know the person when you're entering into relationships. This gives you a very charismatic, very attractive personality. Other people enjoy being around you. You can be very fun, very entertaining if you have this placement as well. This can also sometimes make you physically attractive because this can make you very focused on your looks and wanting to have a healthy and beautiful appearance. Sometimes if this is afflicted, there can be sexual scandals or there could even be working in the sexual industry. There can be all sorts of addictions related to sexuality and pornography that can also be seen with this. Sometimes there can even be some challenges related to childbirth with this placement as well. But if this is placed well in the chart, you can overcome some of these challenges also. This is definitely a placement though, where you want to see which of these planets are strongest. Is it Venus or Mars? that holds the power in this conjunction. This is going to tell you so much about how this will play out. Definitely there's a need to avoid getting into secretive matters in terms of relationships as well, because Mars also has rulership over Scorpio, which has to do with secrets and hidden things. So definitely you want to avoid anything that is scandalous that involves secrets with this position. You could be talented in all sorts of arts, singing, music, dance, entertainment with this, because Mars adds all of this passion and excitement to creativity as well. So this can be seen also. This can take you towards spirituality, particularly later in life when some of these passions die down, you find yourself drawn towards a spiritual journey. This also can make you a very independent person as well, where you can do very well as a business person, as an entrepreneur. So I hope you all enjoyed this. If you like this, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video.